We um, pinpoint to our system. This is produced by uh, Diagnosis in, in the UK. This system is used for testing, uh, fault finding, uh, finding faults on, on PCBs. One of the cool features with the pinpoint is the ability to reverse engineer circuit boards, which is really good if you're trying to repair or find a fault on the board but you have no information. Okay, so I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on showing you how we can find the interconnections between devices on a circuit board. Okay, so for the sake of this uh, demonstration, I have a small uh, circuit board here. Now, it's a fairly simple board, it just has some uh, dual in line components. Um, so, I'm just going to show how we do the inter how we can actually find the circuit diagram between some of these, these components. Now, although this has dual in line components, uh, the pinpoint system uh, comes with a lot of test clips for many other devices, surface mount, SOIC devices. So, it doesn't matter what the type of devices are, the, the process is still uh, pretty much the same. Okay, so the first step is to make a visual representation of the board and get it into the system. So we can see here on the screen that we've actually used a graphical editor to um, put these devices on, on the actual screen. And we can also import a, um, uh, an image, a photograph, and use that as well. But this is actually quite simple to do. You just simply um, drop and drag different components onto the board and define what those, de what those um, devices are. Um, so you can see here that this one's a 74F08, here we're 7404, so we're just defining exactly what they are. Okay, this enables the system to find the symbols for those devices. Once we've got these um, components on the board, the pinpoint system generates a circuit diagram. So well, it doesn't generate a circuit diagram at this stage, it simply puts the symbols of the components onto a circuit diagram sheet. So you can see here, these are uh, some of the symbols of all the components that we've actually placed on those on that circuit board. But none of them are yet um, connected up. So the process I'm going to show you is how we find the interconnections between these devices and then produce the um, circuit diagram. Okay. So that's what we've got at the moment, we've just got an empty circuit, a number of symbols, no interconnections. First thing to do is, um, have three components here, U1, U2 and U3. So just, I'm just going to find the interconnections between these, these devices. So I'll simply select these devices, just the three devices, and then select Net Gen Board. Okay, and the first thing you see is, is the system um, highlights what test clip to, to use. But before we start, on the actual circuit board itself, um, we just have to also um, allocate, make some connections to the, the power rails. Okay, so on the pinpoint we have a power nets tab and we have various um, um, sockets here. So we're just going to make some connections to the, in this case, the zero supply and the five volt supply, so that any connections that are found to those two supplies, uh, we know that they're connected to, to the rails. Okay. So now we've done that, we can actually start doing finding interconnections. So I have some test clips here. Okay, so first the component becomes highlighted, U3 in this case, uh, and then on the actual pinpoint system itself we get an indicator indicating which socket to use. So we can clip into here and then clip onto the device. Once the contacts have been made the system will go and then go on to the, um, the next IC. It indicates which device we need to clip onto and also we're going to indicate it on the system as well. So we just clip onto here. And make the connection. Okay, and we get a little um, pop comes up which actually shows us some of the interconnections, some of the nets on that particular device. So we'll press OK and we move on to the, the last device. 
we're just going to show. So again, same process, take test clips, clip onto the component. Okay, so we click OK. And then we have a message at the top, so we just follow the message really. Please remove test clips, so we just remove the first one, and remove the second one, and then finally the, the last one. Save changes, yes. Yes. And it's done, all complete. So now I just go on to the schematic tab. Now you remember the, the devices weren't connected before, we just had the symbols. So once I click on this now and zoom in, we can actually see those devices. We've got U1, U2, U3, and we can see all the interconnections between those, those three devices. Okay. And we can save that, we can save this information, and then we can find interconnections between a couple of few other devices. And in fact, I'll do that now. So go back to Define Board. And I'm just going to have a look at this resistor. This resistor seems to be connected to this, this device, so I'm just going to find the interconnections between these devices. NetGen board. Okay, so again, it tells me these which um, which test clip to use. Clip onto the device. Okay, so now it's telling me to use a Stripe Pro. So this is this is to connect onto the passive devices because we don't have a test clip. So we got, again, light comes on, use this device, and we can see a little arrow here. Just touch onto that, get a nut, take it off, and then moves over to the other side, connect onto that. Okay, and we've done the connections there. Okay, remove the test clip. So devices, yes. Okay, so now I'll go onto the schematic tab, zoom in again. And there we can see the resistor R4 connected to pin 12 of um, U1 and also the other side connected up to the 5 volts. So there you go. So you can see by using the pin points, uh, we can easily, by following the process, following the instructions, we can easily put together a schematic for a circuit board.